Hey you guys, Matt Allen, Tim Little. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. We have got beautiful conditions today, other than being freezing cold, <laughs> and we are headed out fishing. Come along, let's go. We're on the Tennessee River today, the lower Tennessee River, fishing a giant dam. There's some flow today, there's some floodgates open, they're generating some electricity, so there's water running through the dam. It's not raging, but it looks like there's good flow. We're planning to power fish today, underspins, swim baits, spinner baits, A-rigs. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. We've never been here. We really don't know what we're in for, but we're gonna go give it a try. We thought we'd bring you guys along for the fun. Well, we had to start somewhere, slinging that three quarter ounce tactical underspin. Chartreuse and blue trying to stand out in this water. The water's super murky. It's not really muddy, it's just heavy stain, less than a foot of visibility, tons of flow. You guys can probably see the open gates behind us, all the birds because of the bait coming through those gates. So that blade is helping me stand out a little bit in all the commotion. I'll deal with it. Don't add on that one. Well, your first is <laughs> yeah. Looking good. Strong start. We are on a roll with the wrong species. Handful of drum, catfish. You know, we've never been here. We said that in the beginning. And when you're exploring, you gotta piece it together. There's incredible flow. There's 100% there's bass in the mix with all these other species. What we don't know is are the bulk of the bass out on the edge of these other fish? Are they right up there in the mix with them? Are the bass half a mile that way? Are they 20 more feet up? It's just gonna take some time milling around in this current. When we get that first bass bite, we'll be able to build from that and try and get a pattern going. It's small. No? It might be, it's big. I'll take a net. Going to the right. Never seen a drum jump like that. It's clear up here. Oh, <laughs> oh my. Look at that. Jumbo smallmouth.
three quarter ounce tactical bass and underspin unreal i was getting ready to put on my little one uh got them. Yeah. That's rough. I was just laying off the bottom basically there. That's how all of them Finally on the board. That was an old fashioned butt kicking. <laughs> Still kind of is, but at least I got a bite finally. Oh my word. <laughs> it caught the spinner bait on the way down. First cast of the spinner rate. Never even made it down near bottom. It is so hard to reel those fish upstream. Nichols catalyst spinner bait. Nice smallie. Cast is long over. Get him? <laughs> Just sitting down there behind the boat. Yeah. in the motor. <laughs> oh, missed him. Oh, yep. Now we're talking. Beautiful fish. Nice color. Not as big as that five and a quarter. By the way, that first fish, that was five and a quarter. We weighed it. Jumbo smallmouth. Just an amazing first bass from a new place. Again, that's that Nichols Catalyst half ounce throwing a four inch Damiki on there. No stinger hook, running that Damiki to help them target the center and get that hook.
smoked it. I almost hit that in the wall. Look at that guy. He ate a Rapala DT-10 that is very stuck in the net. There it is, right there. That guy. You'll notice that chartreuse, chartreuse and blue theme in a lot of what we're, well, not in a lot of what we're throwing, in a lot of what we're getting bit on. Uh, you know, that electric blue, that chartreuse, those are bold colors that fish can find in all this chaos. Well, we had a little change of plans. Things got off to a pretty strong start. We got one giant smallie, got a couple more really nice ones, caught about 1,500 drum, <laughs> bunch of other random species, and then they cut the flows. Half of the gates just got shut off, just done. So instead of scrapping it and calling it a day, we put it on the trailer, drove half hour, 45 minutes. We are dumping back in. We're gonna run up and fish another dam. We'll just keep this thing rolling. Yep. <laughs> Was using heavy line. Beautiful smallmouth. Awesome. Four point seven five swammer. Sticking with that chartreuse blue. That's our tactical screwed up underspin head. It's the three quarter because this current is so fast, but that screwed up head, it's got that oversized screw lock in it, keeps that bait pinned. So I don't go through so many baits. Got him on the. Jeez. Oh, Got him on this old tactical crank. Finally, got the right species in the boat. I have caught so many fish today that were not the right species. <laughs> nice old spot. Thanks, dude. And that rounds it out. Large mouth, spot, small mouth, white bass, wiper, drum, several kinds of catfish. We're forgetting something. There were more. 
This is ridiculous. Spotted bass. I dropped down to the mini with that 2.75 swammer. So we, we pulled into this little pocket here. It's actually, there's a boat ramp. There's a creek coming in. Water's a little bit warmer and they've got a ball of shad pushed up here on this ramp. And we're just throwing everything we can think of at them. You know, Tim got a couple on the crankbait got them on the underspins and uh, we're just rolling through baits trying to get another one to fire another one to fire all in all this has been a super fun day just exploring completely new water It's just been one of those days for me. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up here. Today was a lot of fun. This was just a bonus video. Tim and I were going fishing. We wanted to go out exploring. We thought we'd just bring you guys along and uh, just see what happens. We had no idea what we were in for. The big thing I wanna point out is that this is the time of year to do things like this. You know, obviously there are good days and bad days in the spring, just like any other season, but in general, bass are cooperative in the spring they're feeding they're aggressive they're in shallower water than other times of year they are eating a lot of different baits and generally you can catch them so if you do want to get out and explore if you've got some places on a list and you want to check those boxes like we did today this is the time of year to do that we've been talking about coming down and fishing these places for a while today was just the day definitely the star of the show was the underspin uh, caught our biggest fish caught the majority of the fish but we also caught them well on the crankbait caught them well on the spinnerbait we'll link all that gear for you in the video description we were playing with some new rods new reels along with some new baits and just generally had a good time today tim for whatever reason was like the multi-species man today and, and it's one of those weird deals like we both throw in i'll come out with a bass who come out with something else and it, who knows why uh but we just if we forget the bass and we just talk about general numbers of fish we caught so many fish today my arms hurt it was fun hopefully you guys enjoyed coming along if you did hit the like button subscribe to the channel and we'll talk to you soon